Depending on what you're working on, there may be times when you want Goose to be more or less autonomous. Sometimes you may want to confirm each step with Goose, and other times you may want to let it completely run free. For that reason, Goose comes with four different permission modes to provide you with different levels of control. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about what those modes are and how you can use them to optimize your workflow. So let's jump right in. If you're using the Goose desktop app, you can see what mode you're in by clicking on this menu right down here. By default, Goose will be in the autonomous mode. This mode allows Goose to act on your behalf without requiring approval. That means it can do things like modify files, use extensions that you have enabled, or even delete files. So for example, I can ask Goose to build a tic-tac-toe game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then I can go make a cup of coffee because Goose will go ahead and build out the game on its own. And now I have a tic-tac-toe game. The next mode that Goose has is manual. This means that anytime Goose wants to perform an action, it will first ask for my approval. If I want to change the colors of my game so X's are red and O's are blue, Goose will first ask me if it can update the code. I can then assess if I want this change to happen, and I can click Allow to let Goose make the change. This mode gives me much more control and allows me to review changes before they happen. In between completely autonomous and manual approval, Goose also has a smart approval mode. This allows Goose to take a risk-based approach where it will automatically proceed with actions that it deems low risk and ask for permission to perform actions that it deems are higher risk. That means I can ask Goose to tell me what extensions I have available and it will give me the answer automatically. But if I ask Goose to delete my game file, Goose will stop and ask for permission. You can also fine tune the manual and smart approval modes by clicking on this gear icon. And then you can set permission levels for specific actions. Here, I can always allow Goose to take a screenshot, for example. And then finally, we have the chat only mode. And here, Goose will not use any extensions or execute any commands. You can just engage with it in a conversation. This mode is really great if you want to plan things out, ask Goose some questions, or if you and Goose just want to get philosophical. Of course, these modes are also available if you're using the Goose CLI. You can run Goose Configure, select Goose Settings, Goose Mode, and then pick whichever mode you want to use. Alternatively, if you want to change the mode when you're already in a session, you can do that with the slash mode command, followed by the mode that you want to use. Your options will be Auto, Approve, or Chat. Now that you know about all of the different Goose permission modes, you can start to fine tune your sessions to get the most out of Goose. For more tips like this, be sure to check out our docs as well as other videos we have on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.